Hello, today I want to show you how you can add an AI chatbot travel visor to your front end application in minutes. We're going to use the new Amplify AI kit to get started. Let me show you a quick demo and some code. So let me show you what this demo looks like. So right now I have on my screen this chatbot. I'm calling it the Amplify AI kit travel advisor. And I have an input in here. So I can enter any sort of text in and ask my travel advisor any question I like. So let's ask what sites should I see in New York City? And I'll hit enter there. And then from here, it will automatically talk to our large language model, in this case, Claude 3, and then start streaming some information to us. So you can see here, here are some of the top attractions and sites I'd recommend in New York City, Central Park, talking about the Metropolitan Museum of Art, um, some of the museums, the Empire State Building, and so on and so forth. So you can see here, uh, this is a fully fledged chat bot. I could have it have any sort of prompt, but let's take a look how we can set this up in just a few minutes and add it to our app. So I'm inside the a new Vite app that's using React. And from here, I can install a few libraries. So to get started with the AWS Amplify AI kit, I'll need to npm create amplify at latest. So this npm create amplify at latest will actually install everything we need to to be able to set up this chatbot. It also sets up something called AWS Amplify Gen 2, which allows us to talk to any AWS service. And I'll show you how that works. We also need to install a few additional libraries. We'll run npm i at AWS Amplify UI React, and also the AWS Amplify UI React AI, and the AWS Amplify library. These will install as node modules. If we now look inside our Vite app, a new folder will be there. It's called Amplify. And inside there, we'll see an auth and data folder. So this is all the configurations that we need to connect to our AWS services. In this case, we're going to use Amazon Bedrock with Claude 3. And it also sets up Amazon Cognito. So if we take a look at this auth, this is just a few lines of code. It, this is a bunch of boilerplate code that it automatically creates for you. So in this new data resource file, let me show you how to add in this conversational API so we can create this chatbot. So you may see some boilerplate code in this resource TS file. I'm going, I'm going to show you some updates to it. So first, we'll need to make sure that we have this client schema imported in. Uh, then we'll have this export type schema. And we'll have this defined data. And this just tells it what sort of authorization rules that we'll have. And then inside here, we're going to add in this new chat AI.conversation. And what this does is it creates an app sync back end, and it connects to Amazon Bedrock, and it connects to the Claude 3 Sonnet large language model that we'll be using. And just with these few lines of code, it'll do this all for you. We're also going to give it a system prompt. Now, this is what we're telling the large language model to do. And the system prompt here says, you are a helpful assistant, assistant as a travel advisor. And so that way, when we ask questions to the large language model, it respond as if it's a travel advisor. And now that we have this, this resource file completed and we have an idea of how we want our chatbot to be working, uh, we now need to connect it up to AWS. So let me show you how that works. So first, of course, you'll have to have an AWS account. And you'll need to go into Amazon Bedrock and go into your model access and just make sure you enable all the models that you're going to use first. Otherwise, obviously, it won't work. I'd also recommend that you set up Identity Center or AWS CLI and have your local environment set up so you can talk to AWS. We have a account set up if you click on the, our docs at amplify.aws and go to configure AWS for local development. We have a full video and everything you need to do to set up so you can set up uh, SSO locally on your machine. Now, I've already done that. So the next steps for me would be to run MPX Ampex Sandbox. And this will create an ephemeral environment. It will create the app sync. It will connect to the Bedrock model. It'll do everything for us in the background. 
And that way, we can actually test locally. While that's going on, let me show you a couple of other quick steps to get, to get this up and running. We need to go into our main TSX file. I went ahead and filled this out before we began, but what I did is I imported in the authenticator from the UI React library, not having it surrounding the whole application. And also I'm running this amplify configure command. Uh, after you run the mpx ampx, ampx sandbox command, you'll have a new file in the root folder the root of your file system called Amplify Outputs, that I'll have all the configurations for Amplify. And all you need to do is run the Amplify configure and pass that config file in like this. And what this will do, if you go back to our resource file, you can see here that we have this authorization rule. And what this says is that only authenticated users will be able to use our chatbot that we just created. So to be able to use that, I said before we also had Amazon Cognito that was created. With this authenticated uh, permissions here, we need to make sure that the user logs in first. So inside this main TSX file, we have this authenticator component, which is a really nice connect component that adds in a way to sign in or sign out into your app. And now we'll run npm run dev. We can run our app. So the first time we actually load our app, we'll see this screen here, which will allow us to log in. So we'll create a new account and log in, and we'll get into the chatbot. And then after you're logged in, you'll have access to the chatbot. Now, one thing else that we'll need to set up real quick is the app TSX file. And this file here will have everything we need to actually talk to the chatbot. And we have a create AI hooks that we have. We'll have this generate client that we'll need to set up. This allows us to talk to our back end. And then we'll have this thing called use AI conversation. So we'll set up this hook from line 12 to line 18. And then we'll use this AI conversation component, a connected component from the UI React AI library. And we'll just have this messages, send messages, and is loading, which is passed in from the hook itself. And so this is the main route. We don't have any additional routes. So as soon as you load the app, you'll see the Amplify AI Kit Travel Advisor, and you'll be able to start asking it questions. So you can see just in a few minutes, we were able to create this chat bot and have it be interactive for you and connected to the Amazon BioDirect large language model, Claude. And we were able to do it just with a few lines of boilerplate code. So to continue on, I'd like you to check out the links in the description below so you can start off and try out Amplify AI Kit yourself. Thanks.